Al Janoub Stadium is the venue for the third quarter final at the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup in Doha, Qatar. Well, this is the scene at the Al Janoub Stadium. 22 degrees centigrade is the temperature. And the atmosphere is being whipped up inside the stadium as Egypt prepare to face Jordan for the right to play Tunisia in the semi-finals of the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup. Just approaching 10 to 6 in the evening here, local time. Egypt progressed as group winners, but only just ahead of Algeria. It had to be settled in the end on the fair play system after both sides have finished level on everything that they could be sorted on. Jordan, well, they finished second in their group, Group C. Behind Morocco, they ended with a convincing 5-1 victory over Palestine. Well, plenty of Egyptian fans are in Doha to cheer their team on. They would love to be facing their local rivals, Tunisia, in the semi-finals. Tunisia and the hosts, Qatar, already through. It's a busy period for Egypt, who have the Africa Cup of Nations starting next month. And some of the young players in this Egyptian squad may well be forcing their way into the squad for that tournament at the start of 2022. As for uh, Jordan, well, they were a little fortunate to win their opening game against Saudi Arabia. An own goal was the difference between the two sides. A heavy defeat to Morocco. Both these sides have scored five in one of their matches already. Egypt getting five against Sudan, although it has to be remembered that Sudan played most of that match in the second half with just nine players. Jordan beating Palestine by five goals to one, although they did score three late goals in that match to give the scoreline a look that it possibly didn't merit. Out on the pitch, the Arab Cup banner is unfurled and there will soon be a huge cheer as the two flags of Egypt and Jordan are unveiled out on the playing surface. Certainly a moment for that young man to remember for a very long time indeed. Here to support Egypt. Teams await in the tunnel. The photographs are taken of the two enormous flags out on the pitch. Egypt on the left. Jordan on the right. And just looking around the stadium, there are very much more Egyptian fans, and there are those from Jordan. It will be a terrific atmosphere when the teams walk out in just a moment or so's time.
A semi-final against Tunisia awaits the winner of this quarter-final at the FIFA Arab Cup as Group D winners Egypt take on Group C runners-up Jordan for a place in the last four. Tunisia and the host Qatar already in the semi-finals. 16 teams started out at the end of November at the start of this tournament. Six remain at the moment. By the end of today, only four teams will be in contention to win. Team news in a moment after the two national anthems. Egypt are without the experience of Ahmed Hakazi and Ahmed Arashraf, who were both injured in the draw against Algeria. Both miss out today as a result. Four changes to the team that started against Algeria. Ahmed Yassin and Omar Kamal coming into the defence. Mustafa Fati and Zizo starting on each wing, with Marwan Hamdi once more leading the Egyptian attack. Although the striker hasn't yet scored at this Arab Cup, he's one of five Egyptian players to start every match so far. Our referee is from Honduras, Said Martinez is the man in the middle. Both captains wearing number four today, and both captains are one yellow card away from a suspension, which would mean missing a semi-final should their team get there. Our main VAR official today is Fernando Guerrero from Mexico. Algeria also make four changes. Hadi Alrani and Essen Haddad starting in defence. The latter's last appearance saw him sent off in Jordan's opening group match victory over Saudi Arabia. Mahmoud Al Mahdi coming into midfield, while Yassan Al Namainat, who scored twice late on against Palestine after coming on as a substitute, has recovered fully from injury to return up front. Ali Olwan pushes further forward as Yassan's strike partner. Jordan are only able to name seven substitutes, five outfield players unavailable.
atmosphere is magnificent inside this stadium. Which coach, Carlos Quiros or Adnan Hamad, will come out all on top? Running a little ahead of schedule, so kickoff imminent. today kicking from right to left Egypt in the red shirts with the black shorts seven goals for Egypt in their group matches six for Jordan we had eight goals in yesterday's two quarterfinals with Tunisia and Qatar making their way through into the last four and Tunisia await the winners of this quarterfinal a reminder we may have extra time and penalties if these teams can't be separated after 90 and 120 minutes. Egypt unbeaten in all 12 of their internationals in the calendar year 2021. Eight wins and four draws this year. Jordan have won precisely half of their internationals in 2021, winning 10 of their 20 games. Away from Baha Suleiman, scorer of an early penalty against Palestine the other day in their last group match. Egypt will work it to this near side to Omar Kamal, a 28 year old. Mustafa Fati. Yassin. Hamdi scored one of the goals. Against Sudan in their 5 0 victory. Played forward by Roman Hamdi. Egypt get the throw. This team are a long way behind Egypt in the latest FIFA rankings. Egypt 45th, Jordan 91st in the world. Here comes Kamal. No way through for him. Mahmoud Al Mahdi. Abu Hashish. Nassib. This is Essan on that uh, far side, the right back. Head of uh, Yazan. Able to get on the end of it now. This is Al Mahdi. Yazan. Be interesting to see how Egypt cope with the back without the experience of Ahmed Hagazi. A man who was a late uh, call up into their squad, but he's played a pivotal role at the back for the Pharaohs so far. Yazan, the man fouled by Mahmoud Hamdi. Might be a little too far out for a, a strike on goal, but. Certainly plenty of debate amongst the Jordanian players as to how to approach this set piece. Baha Suleiman, the captain. 
There's the man behind it. It does look like he's going to have a go at goal. And that is kind of relatively comfortable for Mohamed El Sanawi. Saw it all the way. El Sanawi, the goalkeeper who played at the last FIFA World Cup in Russia. Also at this year's Olympic Games in Japan. Ahmed Fato. Here's Zizo. Should be tidied up in the middle. Oh, there could have been a bit of confusion there, as it was just left by Abu Hashish. Yazid able to get there. But that was an anxious moment at the back for Jordan because Mustafa Fati was lurking. Thumbs up from the coach, but this could have been highly embarrassing at the back. You can see the defender just waiting for the goalkeeper to try and take command of the situation. Both goalkeepers who have started every game so far for their respective countries. Andy keeps that ball in play. It actually went out. Thomas Quiros appointed in September of this year to take charge of Egypt, replacing Hassan El Badri. He's got one of Egypt's all-time heroes amongst his coaching staff, Esam El Haddadi, who you may remember. FIFA World Cup in Russia at the age of 45 years and 161 days to become the oldest player ever at a World Cup finals. Well, he is the goalkeeping coach. Flying through the air there was Abu Zraik. It was a late call up into the Jordan squad and he played so well against Palestine last time out. Picking up the player of the match award. assistant referee all three main officials the referee and his two assistants all from Honduras Egypt unbeaten at this 2021 FIFA Arab Cup beating Lebanon by one goal to nil Sudan by five goals to nil Although Sudan had two players sent off and they drew 1-1 with uh, Algeria. As for Jordan, they beat Saudi Arabia by one goal to nil before a heavy 4-0 defeat to the eventual group winners Morocco, but then defeated Palestine by five goals to one. That'll be a goal kick. delivery there, deciding against it. Hooked forward by Noor. Zizo built in the pass, played out to him, but it was just behind him, though. Poor delivery. Picked up now by Mustafa Fati for Egypt. Fati has options to his right. Take back in by Zizo, and easily taken there by Yazid. 
sieht. As the ball is turned in from Omar Kamal. Well, there's been a lively tempo to the opening exchanges in this uh, quarter-final. Almadi might have a shot from here. Almadi taken by El Sanawi. He played at frenetic speed. Fati. Well, one in midfield by Baha. Captain able to lay it forward, but couldn't be held on. Two by Ali Alwan, and he's given away the free kick. Alwan, who was playing in a role just behind the strikers for Jordan, but is now one off the two strikers today. With the unavailability of five outfield players. Here again we see that shot, that was no real problem for the Egyptian goalkeeper. Ahmed Yassin. Pulled by Soler. Come out, dispossessed. Come out. Followed by Soler. Turn here by Noor. This is Nasib. Hadi Al Rani. Nasib's clearance. Jordan, who qualified for this uh, FIFA Arab Cup after being awarded a 3-0 win over South Sudan. Unfortunately, South Sudan had many players and staff who had positive COVID-19 tests when arriving in Qatar for the playoff match in June. Olman. Yazan! Oh, brilliant goal! Yazan al -Namainat. And Jordan strike first in this quarter-final. It's his third goal of the tournament, having scored twice against Palestine in their last group game. Ali Alwan advancing, and look at that for the shape of his body as he turns that away past Mohamed Al Sanawi. What a start for Jordan. Yassan Ernamat only made his international debut in February of uh, this year. Missed the defeat against uh, Morocco because of injury. Here come Egypt, looking for a swift response. A little bit of a dispute there amongst several of the uh, Jordanian defenders. It was Bahar Suleiman, the captain, who was Almost incandescent with rage there at some of his teammates. Well, it's the Jordan fans that you can hear. Many of the Egyptian fans, particularly behind the goal that they are defending, are standing with arms folded. Unable quite to take in the enormity of what has just happened. Handy. This is Fatour. Towards Zizo. It's away, though, by Nasib. Turned forward by Soler. That 
Here's Soler again. Works it to that left-hand side. Handy. Mohan Handy looks for support. Turn towards goal and just wide by Mustafa Fati. Good opportunity this for Egypt. Fatih with the touch. Mustafa Fatih back in the starting 11 today. He began the first match against uh, Lebanon, but was then on as a substitute in the subsequent two group matches. Away by Hamdi. Forward by Yassin. Sliding in with Soler. Foul on Fati. Andy Fati lays it wide. He's one of three Egyptian players in the starting 11 who would miss any potential semi final if booked tonight. Soler, Fati, and Mustafa Fati are the three in that category for Egypt. Easily done by Kamal. Chance for a shot, perhaps, from that distance here. Zizo. Andy. Cut wide by Fati. This is Zizo. Hamdi Fati, Amro Soler. Away to safety by Al Mahdi. It's too long for uh, Hamdi to get on the end of it and to uh, gather by Yazid. Jordan have three players in a similar situation Abu Hashish and Nasib. Two of their integral defenders and the captain, Baha Suleiman, all in danger of missing a semi final if they were cautioned this evening. Held up by Orwan. He is again. Well, Egypt needlessly conceding possession there. Jordan can't take advantage. Away by Hamdi. First time from Fatty. Marwan Hamdi. Fatty was approaching. Marcel puts it behind. Here's the goal again. Lovely strike from Yazan Al Namainat. Look at the way that he shapes his body to get in the right position to place it perfectly beyond the goalkeeper. away from Hadi. Azan couldn't get there. Chase back here for Ahmed Yassin. He's under considerable pressure there, isn't he? And eventually that pressure is too much from Ali Olwan. for Jordan in September against uh, Bahrain in a friendly. Jordan knocked out of FIFA World Cup qualifying in the summer. They played half a dozen friendlies before coming into this FIFA Arab Cup. One four in a row before uh, losing.
losing 1-0 to Belarus in mid-November in their final match before coming to Doha. Coach of Jordan, appointed in June of this year for a second time. Hassan Haddad is the player down. Sent off against Saudi Arabia in their first group match. So a chance now for Egypt to create something from this free kick. Jordan have everybody back. Hamdi looking for his second goal of the tournament. Mahmoud Hamdi, the central defender. Goalkeeper with the double-handed punch. Mustafa Fati. Noor. Yassim. And back by Mahmoud Hamdi. And Zanoui's clearance. Met by Fati. This one for uh, Yassine at the back. And he's been beaten to it by Yassine. Chance here for Olwan. Excellent save from El Sanawi. Excellent battling play there from Yassine to set up Olwan. Kept the shot low. Round for a corner. Jordan's first corner of the match then. And having defended a free kick just moments ago, now they're looking to double their lead. Baha Suleiman will take. to the penalty area for Jordan, who will presumably break in different directions. Baha with it. And it'll be another corner, headed behind by Amro Salat. So there, who's with Al-Ali, who finished third at the Club World Cup in Qatar earlier this year. And they will be playing at the next FIFA Club World Cup in February in the United Arab Emirates as well, having retained their continental crown. Right across the face of goal, and the save is made by Elson Erwin. Really anxious moments at the back for Egypt. Ahmed Fatour. Ziza. Soler. Through for Zizo Said. And it did look as though it had come off a defender initially, and indeed it had. Mahmoud Hamdi. Timing handball was Nasib. Corner. 
It's their first of the match, and it's taken short as well. Zizo. Play by Baha. Hook clear by Yazan. It's a worrying start for Rakalas Quirosh and Egypt. One goal down and looking fragile at the back. We've seen the experience of Ahmed Hagazi. Out injured today. Abu Zreik. Lost to run at defences. Can't find a way through this time. Zizo, Fator going on the overlap. Here he is. Ahmed Fator. Oh, God, he didn't get the that at all, cleanly. The left back. Causing one or two problems there for uh, Yazid Abu Leila. emanating from the Egyptian supporters as they sense this might be their moment. Fatal with the effort. Kurosh looking to following the footsteps of the Egyptian side of 1992 who won the Arab Cup beating Saudi Arabia in the final when the tournament was staged in Syria amongst the Egyptian team at the time Hossam Hussein Egypt's all-time top goal scorer with 83 goals in 176 international appearances here come Jordan with Almadi hit with some pain from Noor Al Rawadi. And that might well have been heading in, but for Elsener we save. Sat up really nicely here for the midfielder, and it was curling in towards goal. There's the curl on the shot. So close to a second for Jordan. Baha Suleiman and will take this corner kick. Goalkeeper will try and gather. That's a foul by Nasib. Zizo. Ahmed Yassin. No one handy waits in the middle. Run on this near side made by Omar Kamal. Turn it back into the middle with any direction. Excellent run, though, from the fullback to get in behind the Jordanian defence. Zizo. Mahmoud Handy.
an effort to keep that ball in. Just hit with a little bit too much pace that as it skipped away off the playing surface. Approaching the half hour mark, then, if you have just joined us, Jordan ahead through a goal from Yazan Al Namenat. Jordan in the white. Played forward by Almedi. That looked like it came off the hand, indeed it did. For Ulwan. Ziza. Way by Hashish. Baha. Al Mahdi. Good throw comes off for Zizo. Won the Egyptian Premier League last season with uh, Zamalek. from Almadi. Almadi, beautiful run from him. Egypt able to clear it away. They've only got one man up front at the moment, and that is uh, Marwan Hamdi. Hadi. Looking for Mohamed Abu Zraik really been able to impose himself on this match in the way that he did against Palestine. Faisal. Hamdi. Faisal on the far side. Hussein Faisal, no way through for him. And at the moment, that move essentially sums up Egypt's opening half an hour or so. Time wasting is the message from the referee. Handy pulled back. Soler, Fati, Zizo. Appears to have switched for the moment to the right hand side with Hussein Faisal moving out to the left wing. Here is Faisal. Waiting for the little ball in the field. Faisal, Soler, Fati, Ziza will have a shot from here. Always rising. Well, one thing that can be guaranteed whenever uh, Ziza has an opportunity of uh, having an attempt on goal, he will take that opportunity. to uh, Egypt in 2018 after spells playing club football in Belgium and in Portugal. Look at a little flick from Al Mahdi. Very 
visible frustrations there. For Carlos Quiros. Pretty sure they were saying to the referee, well, I'm, I'm making a point to one of my own players. Given away by Feza. Work wide by Baha. This is Essa. Nassim. Right with a little ball back. Abdullah Nassim. Chase to see who gets there first. Sliding in was Fartor, and he caught Essan there. Right in the chest. Well, it was certainly a ball to be won. And there is a card to be shown. Challenge. Fartor following through with that right boot to catch Essan. Pretty much more on the shoulder than on the chest. Started all four matches for uh, Egypt so far at this FIFA Arab Cup. Who knows what's coming after this challenge? Card then shown to Ahmed Fatua. First portion of this quarter final. Full of straying into an offside position. Away by Kamal. And again. Bahan. Noah. Oh, great shot from Ali Alwan. It didn't cross the goal line, though. Jordan so, so close to a second goal. with a wonderful effort, but as you can see here, it bounces down and away from the goal line. Down off the post, and away to safety and behind, eventually for a corner. Which will be taken by Baha. by 
Abu Zreik. Forward by Fador. Chase on here for Fati. Up against Nasi. Mustafa Fati. And very visible physical signs of discontent amongst several of the Egyptian players who were hoping for a pass there. This has certainly not been Egypt at their best. tension inside the stadium even though we still have five minutes of this first half and the whole second half to play and in fact here's Mahmoud Hamdi Ahmed Yassin Two centre backs have just swapped sides for the time being. Noor. Time to bring that one down. Abu Zreik. If Egypt can play this forward quickly, there might be an opportunity here. Marwan Hamdi. Excellent run from Fem. Turn towards goal by Fatty. And somehow Jordan get it away. Still Egypt come forward, Salah, Zizo, and pushed away by Zyazi to deny Hussein Faisal, Egypt's best spell of the match. Faisal with the header down. Crescendo of noise from the Egyptian supporters. Kamal. Free kick. Here's that shot again from Hussein Faisal. Goalkeeper in the right place to just make the block. What a save that was as Faisal put his header in towards goal. Pressure building then on Jordan as Egypt search for an equaliser. Zizo and Fatik are the two players behind the free kick. Zizo will now leave it. It's down for Fatty with the delivery. Turned over. Abu Leila has again been spoken to by the referee, the Jordanian goalkeeper, about time wasting. Away by Hamdi. Two balls on the pitch, not that Jordan will be overly concerned about that as they just look to take the momentum out of Egypt's play. The last five minutes or so have most definitely been the most productive period for Egypt. Hamdi. El Saneri, by far the busier of the two goalkeepers. one all given away Zizo Fatty Zizo Zizo's ball in will drop here for Andro Soler came off the back of Noor and 
Newell will clear with the overhead kick. Retained there by Yazan. Still in the play from Fatour. Egypt certainly finishing the first half the stronger. They've had 61% possession so far in this match. Egypt get it restarted quickly. Fourth official is about to show us how much additional time we're going to have at the end of this first half. Two minutes is the answer. Zizo, Fati, Faisal, Fati, Hamdi Fati. Zizo offering himself. So there, here is Zizo. Chips it into a dangerous area. Over the top of Yazid. And Egypt are back on level terms just before half time. Terrific ball in. And rising high. To get the final headed touch there was the main striker, Marwan Hamdi. Getting in just behind Faisal. And with half time, just seconds away, Egypt have leveled it. Egypt won, Jordan won. Abu Hashish. Now we've got a completely different atmosphere inside the stadium. It's the Egyptian fans making all the noise. Soler looking to release Mustafa Fatih on that far side. Nasib chasing with him. Flags being held aloft as the Egyptian supporters bounce up and down. Well, that is half time. It was a scintillating first 45 minutes of football. Yazan Al Namainat giving Jordan an early lead, but in additional time, Marwan Hamdi with an equaliser. Half time in this quarter final 1 1.
يعطيك العافية كابتن الأداء في الشوط الأول كان مغاير لكل التوقعات بهذا الأداء الممتاز ولكن أهداف الأخيرة في الأشواط ربما تؤثر على النفسية للاعبين ما هو التحضير النفسي الآن ما بين الشوطين لبداية الشوط الثاني لاعبي المنتخب الأردني بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم في الواقع يعني التحضير النفسي كان مقدم بصراحة من الشوط الأول كنا إحنا يعني بصراحة قراءة ال اخواننا المنتخب المصري قراءة جيدة والحمد لله رب العالمين قدرنا يعني نسيطر يعني شبه على مجريات المباراة لغاية يعني بتكتيك معين احرزنا هدف وكان بامكاننا كمان انه اربع اهداف تكون محققة شبه محققة هي نوعا ما لكن سوء يعني الحظ خلينا نحكي بالنسبة للتحضير النفسي اللاعبين بصراحة يعني لا اخفيك انه احنا بنهاية الدوري كنا موجودين واليوم يعني كان انه هاي مباراة مهمة واثبات الذات عندهم احسن من هيك وافضل من هيك لكن الضغط المباريات يعني احنا بنهايه الدوري احنا بخلاف عن الدوريات يعني المنطقه العربيه كامله انهينا الدوري بشهر 11 تقريبا فيعني غير يصير عندك بعض الاصابات وبعض الشغلات احنا اليوم قاعد على دكه الاحتياط عندنا 14 لاعب بس مع حراس اثنين يعني 16 لاعب فهي كلها اثرت علينا نفسيا لكن بتعرف دائما يعني الشيء الحلو بيجي من الصعاب وان شاء الله انهم فاهمين الحكي هذا اللاعبين وان شاء الله بقد ما يعني مباراه ممتازه ونقدر نرجع يعني للفوز في الشوط الثاني. هل الشوط الثاني يتوقع نفس الرتم الشوط الاول المنتخب الاردني ام الامور سوف تختلف؟ آه شوف لا اخفيك يعني آه راح يتم دراسه بعض النقاط وبعض اللاعبين بتعرف انت في متغيرات وعليهم في في لاعبين لعبوا الثلاث مباريات الثلاث مباريات وهي الرابعه مباريات كامله وهم تحت ضغط ضغط الدوري لكن ان شاء الله نحاول يعني نتجاوز هاي الاعثارات يعني. ومنياتنا بالتوفيق شكرا شكرا لك استاذ. Well, it was a terrific first half of football. Egypt with more possession. Look at that, 18 shots in total in the opening 45 minutes. Nine of them on target. We had half a dozen corners as well, and one yellow card for Ahmed Fatour. 1-1 at half time. Tunisia awaiting in the semi-finals. Egypt and Jordan battling it out for the right to go through to the last four of the FIFA Arab Cup. And the first half was an absolutely marvellous display of football, particularly from Jordan, who took the lead in the 12th minute after they'd made a good start to proceedings. Well held up here by Ali Olwan. And look at the run forward from the number 10, Yazan al Namainat, And a brilliant curling shot past Mohamed al Sanawi to put Jordan in front. Just the start that they would have wanted. And indeed, Jordan had settled down into the match much better than their Egyptian opponents. Egypt at times were struggling to put any positive play together. But they contributed to a scintillating first half of football. It's Paul across, turned towards goal by Mustafa Fati. Just the wrong side of the post from the midfielder. Long ball forward here, and it led to all sorts of problems for Omar Kamal, the defender. And the shot here from Olwan, well pushed wide by El Sanawi. Egypt then began to press forward more themselves. This ball turned in, and the goalkeeper not quite behind it, Yazid. Jordan breaking forward here through Al Mahdi. And a lovely little flick to set it up wonderfully for Noor Al Rawadi, who got right through the shot there. Another good save from the Egyptian goalkeeper. But they were grateful here for both the bar and the post, as the shot from Ali Olwan struck both, but it didn't cross the goal line. Egypt with a double chance in quick succession. Mustafa Fatih 
So his effort saved there by Yazid. And then just moments later, Ziza with the ball across. And the header towards goal from Hussein Faisal. But the goalkeeper, Yazid, in the way. Egypt ending the first half strongly. And in additional time at the end of the first half, a wonderful ball in. And on the end of it was Marwan Hamdi to get the equaliser for Egypt. Just getting there behind Hussein Faisal. And we have the prospect of a magnificent second half to come. At half time, all square at one apiece.
Ladies and gentlemen, please maintain social distance where possible in this venue and wear a face mask at all times. Two teams coming back out onto the field of play. Jordan, I can tell you, were out at least 90 seconds before uh, Egypt. And as Quirosh's half-time team talk may have just changed a little bit after that late equaliser for his side. It's been a brilliant match so far. 45 minutes of enthralling action. Last chance for words of inspiration from Amro Saleh, the Egyptian captain. Jordan have been ready for some time to get this second half started. Looks like he's going to come on for the second half. Wouldn't be surprised if it was Hussein Faisal who is the player that is uh, going to go off. But are they not going to actually hold that change now? Egypt get the second half started. What a great first half it was at the Al Janoub Stadium. Yazad giving Jordan the lead. Marwan Hamdi with an equaliser for uh, Egypt. In additional time at the end of the first half. No changes to either team in terms of substitutions, although it did look as though Egypt might be about to make a change. Bringing on Mohamed Sharif, the striker. But not so. Now stripped and ready for action, but then put back on his uh, bib. You have just joined us, Egypt in the red shirts and black shorts, Jordan in the all-white. It's a foul by Yazan al -Namedat. He scored the opening goal of the evening. We had eight goals in yesterday's two quarter-finals at the FIFA Arab Cup. Two goals already here. A reminder, if it stays this way, at the end of 90 minutes, we will have extra time. And then maybe even penalties to determine who will go through to meet Tunisia in the semi-final at uh, Stadium 974 on Wednesday. Falls nicely here from Mustafa Fatih. And Egypt progressing forward. Oh, how did he miss it? Hussein Faisal. It went through his legs there as the ball was turned across the face of goal. All it needed was a little touch from Faisal. Couldn't provide it. Much to the disbelief of Hamdi. Problem here. And 
medical team are being asked to come on quickly here by the uh, referee. It is Hamdi Fatih, who is the player down. Well, in terms of statistics, the first half did throw up some impressive numbers. 18 shots. Nine of them on target in total. Hopefully Fatty is uh, fit to continue. Here's that attempt again. You can see he's waiting in the middle for the ball to be played across Faisal. And somehow can't get the all-important touch. Any touch you feel would have turned that in. Fatty sweeps it wide to... Zizo. Zizo's ball in. Hamdi with the header. Hazid Abu Leila defending the goal behind which are housed many, many Egyptian supporters. scored, 1-1 one, one draw between them, and the head-to-head -head couldn't be used either. Jordan, the Group C runners-up behind Morocco. Came back by Fatou, the only man booked in the first half. The Egyptian left back, here he is winning the header. Couldn't be one in the middle by Soler. Bit high with the boot there, the Egyptian captain. Ah, restarts play away by Fatour. Essan with his run. Wins it back again for Jordan as well. This is Abu Zreik. Essa. Olwan. Turned a little bit into trouble. Wins the throw, though. Comes off Fatour. Hassan with it. Abu Zrek. No way through for him, out for the goal kick. Well, so far, the opening exchanges in this second half haven't quite lived up to the hurly burly of the first 45 minutes. The tension inside the stadium is palpable. Soler. 
Zizo infield to find Soler. The far side was at Kamal. All one. Away in the end by Nasib. Oh, chasing down this ball and chasing down hard is Yazan. It's Yazan Al Namainat. Yazan with the shot. Oh! That looked for a very long time as though it was heading into the bottom corner in off the post. A real let off for Egypt at the back. Mahmoud Hamdi outmaneuvered here by Yazan. And it was so, so close to being goal number two for Jordan. earlier in this uh, tournament in the 5-0 win against Sudan. Cross through a ball to find Fatou. That's a foul by Abru Zreg. And that will be the first caution for Jordan tonight. Mohamed Abu Zreg is shown yellow. For the foul on the man, who up until then was the only other player to have been cautioned, Ahmed Fatou. <laughs> Egypt free kick there. Zizo to deliver, but only when the referees had strong words with the two-man wall. Zizo towards the far post, it's away by Yazid. Got plenty on the punch as well. Touchback from Faisal. Zizo. Again, any opportunity he can try and get a shot in on goal, he'll look to do so. Turned into the middle. Goalkeeper will get there first, just ahead of Marwan Hamdi. Egypt working it nicely to that far side, and as Hamdi tried to get there first, Yazid beat him to it. Taken down by Hamdi. Oh, lovely little pull back, Fatty. Zizou. And eventually the shot was more of a cross. Egypt are now going to make the change that it looked likely they were going to do just before the resumption of the second half. On will come Mohamed Sheriff, who came on and scored against Sudan. Mohamed Sharif is waiting. And there's a problem, actually, for Yazid, the Jordanian goalkeeper, which is the reason for the delay here in play. No, 
Now, the referee hadn't actually asked the medical team to come on, I think. Giving them permission to enter the field of play. He's pointing, actually, for the change to be made now. And it will be Hussein Faisal, who is the player coming off. And he will be replaced by Mohamed Sharif. Sharif, who was top scorer in the Egyptian Premier League last season with uh, 20 goals. He was also the top scorer in the CAF Champions League with uh, six goals as Al Ali retained their uh, title. Keeps up his pattern of starting, then a substitute, starting, and now a substitute. There's going to be a change for Jordan as well. In just a moment or so's time. Coming on for them will be Yassine Bakit. Much an attacking midfielder. Tidied at the back by Essa. Yazid. A bit casual, perhaps, with the uh, clearance, but Jordan able to work it away, just behind Yazim. Fatour. Change will now be made. And it's Mohamed Abu Zreik, who is uh, coming off. Man of the match in their last match. Substituted early in the second half in their second fixture. Yassine Bakit, who's now 33 years of age, plays uh, here in Qatar for Om Salal. Did you get the free kick? Much to the horror of several of those in Jordanian colours. levels amongst the Egyptian supporters rising. Lifts an atmosphere. Zizo took it short. Fatour. Zizo. Time for a measured cross here. Zizo went for goal himself. Suddenly sensed perhaps that uh, Yazid in goal had Expecting a cross, saw a little gap. Couldn't find it though. It's fair to say that Carlos Quiros's reaction was mirrored by several of the Egyptian players in the penalty area as well. Way by Fatour. Support from Zizo. Also here from Hamdi Fati. Thrown away by Essa. Well won at the back by Mahmoud Hamdi. Forward by Soler. Essa. Bullman's not going to get that. Far too up. Foul. 
clear one as well by Mohamed Sharif. going on here right on the edge of the technical area there North official getting involved it was all something a little bit of nothing but eventually Essan restarts play Nassi oh. a little flick there Really work though. That's a free kick, not a throw. Ahmed Al Mahdi having moved across now to the Jordan right. Hadney. Plenty on that clearance as well. Almadi trying to get underneath it, so was uh, Olwan. Here's Soler. by Abu Hashish. This is the stage of the match where Adnan Hamad, the Jordan coach, might be ruining the fact that he only has five outfield players available to him amongst the uh, substitutes, and already one of those. Yassin Bahit is on. Five players unavailable tonight for uh, Jordan. The second substitutes that were named included both reserve goalkeepers. Fatua. Ulva. Essam. Ulva. Turned infield by Al Mahdi. Great run here from Essam. Couldn't find the cross to match it up. Essam was the player who was. Racing to try and get into the middle, but would have needed the speed of an Olympic sprinter to get on the end of that ball. Got an Egyptian defender down inside the penalty area. So 20 minutes gone then in the second half, and it remains 1-1. Yazan al Namainat with an early goal for Jordan. The equaliser for Egypt coming in additional time at the end of the first half through Marwin Hamdi. And here are the goals. That's the opener. Terrific from Yazan. And then the equaliser, this header from Hamdi with about 30 or 40 seconds left in the first half. Just beyond the goalkeeper, Yazid. So we are set fair for a terrific finale to this quarter-final. Neither of these two teams get a goal to book their place in the semi finals of the FIFA Arab Cup and a semi final against Tunisia.
Well, Egypt are down temporarily to uh, 10. It looks like Hamdi Fati is the player who has uh, gone off the midfielder, so they're going to have to make a change. Turned back by Baha. Jordan in possession, but they've rarely been able to uh, put any threat on the Egyptian goal in this uh, second half so far. Essan. Long ball cut out by Yassine. There was Hadney. All around, this is Almadi. Noor. Sharif gets away from Nassim. Sharif still going here for Egypt. Soler. Zizo. Teasing cross, and the goalkeeper gathers it. That's the third attempt. Change is going to be made by Egypt in just a moment. It's uh, Mohamed Lachin who is uh, going to come on, midfielder. So it'll be a straight swap in uh, midfield. Midfield by Fatour. Kamal. Skips away from the challenge of Yassine. Kamal still going. Played over the top quickly. Jordan might be able to break here. Just held it up an awfully long time there, and Egypt able to get back in numbers. Jordan, though, still with this one man advantage. Turned into the middle by Almadi. Mustafa Fati. Is it taken away from him with. Relative ease by Noor. Yassine. Egypt able to poke it forward, Soler. Fatih's ball infield is not a good one. Surging run here from Olwan. Olwan can't go all the way. Ahmed Yassin. Just sticking out a boot to turn that ball away from him. Egypt still one man down. Because of that injury. Zizo. Handy. Brought down by Almadi. It's not a surprise that Egypt are actually going to make a double change at this uh, moment, having made already one substitution in this second half. The other man who's going to come in is Mohamed Afsha, who scored a penalty against uh, Lebanon. He's going to replace Mustafa Fati. And on in midfield comes Marnid Lachim. So the two substitutes are both on now for uh, Egypt. Zizo works it back here to Fatour. Fatour's ball across. And it was always a very awkward one, that, for uh, Hamdi. He had to stretch behind him to try and make any form of contact. away 
away from. Ah, almost broke there for uh, Hamdi, but cross came Nassib to make the interception. Jordan's rug. Paddy. Where my fatua? Little touch on from Almadi. Quite run there for uh, Yazan. <laughs> Mohamed Sharif. Here's the new man, Afshar, being urged to shoot by the Egyptian supporters behind that goal. Desperate to see their team score. Kamal drives it across. Wouldn't fall for Moen Handy. Jordan being pushed back pretty much all the time in this second half. Zizo. All cleared away by Hadi, but straight to Omar Kamal. And Egypt will build again. Soler. Fatour. Away from Al Mahdi. Fatour's ball in. Afsha. Afsha again. Lining up the shot. Behind for the corner. Came off Ali all one. Afshwa, who scored in the final of the CAF Champions League against Kaiser Chiefs of South Africa as Al Ali retained their title. Egypt could do with a goal from the recently introduced substitute right now. Quarter of an hour just under remaining, plus whatever additional time is to be played. Hassan with the header. Hoping for a better delivery now from Zizo. And they've got it as well. It's another chance. Change for uh, Jordan. On will come Hamza Alderaydre, striker. <laughs> so Almadi had moved across to the uh, right hand side with the introduction of uh, Yassine Bakit as the player who makes way. Touch of inspiration, one error. Could see one of these teams through to the semi finals. Infield by Yassine. That. Here's Hamza battling away. And he can't get there. 
Jordan able to clear it. Soler. Bolivan with a little touch. Picked up now by Amro Soler. Egypt quickly take the free kick. Soler. Zizo. Afshar. Turned by Fatour. Get the ball across. Afshar. Good ball from him. Noor was there for Jordan. This is Yassine. Run through the middle is being made by Hamza. Yassine still with possession. And that half opportunity is now gone. Well, maybe it hasn't. Ali Olwan. Olwan cutting infield now for Jordan. Lovely little ball through. What an excellent challenge that was from Mahmoud Handy. Brilliant tackle. The ball was rolled through. Yazan went for the shot. Handy in the way. Forward from Essan. All ran with the ball across, away by Kamal. Picked up by Handy. Zizo on that far side, gets to it ahead of Abu Hashish. Needs support. Kamal is there. First time ball in. Will it be kept in play? It will. By Egypt. Ball turned across by Ashraf. And the bouncing ball gathered by Yazid. Excellent moments for uh, both teams in the last couple of minutes. Afsha with that ball into the middle. You see, grateful to gather. And again, he's a little short and easily picked up by Lachine. Zizo. Fatour. Interesting cross in. And for the goal kick. Stands. We're heading for extra time at Al Janoub in the third of the FIFA Arab Cup quarterfinals. And Tunisia will have to wait a little longer to see who they will be facing in the last four. Unless we get a goal. Bolwan. Oh, it was just in behind Yazan. Fatour, who took his eye off the ball. Hassan will take. A 
Hassan with the throw. It'll be a long one as well from the fullback. As long as he would have liked. Nassib. High hanging ball. Feels that for offside from uh, Egypt's defenders. And a down from Hamza. Here's Hamza again. Sharif, the player fouled. the left back should he fart on again and a distance on it Zizo with the header back in and he couldn't get a shot away this is Hamza now for Jordan Hamza Alderaydre Ali Olwa Hamza was the target for the return ball it was a poor one though Chance rather evaporates, a bit of cramp perhaps for uh, Kamal. This match has been played at a frenetic pace. There was the challenge from Omar Kamal. Sliding in. Oh, wow. Cool. You're laying it wide. The scene can't keep it in play. for Jordan Kamal with the touch to put it out Jordan have rarely had the ball this deep in the Egyptian half can they get a late winner can either of these teams get a late late winner which at this stage it May very well be one apiece as we head into the last few minutes. Easy gather for El Sanawi. Quick release from him as well, looking for Sharif. Back came Abdallah Nassib and prevents the corner as well. Afshan. Fatou. Sharif. It's away the free kick, foul on Baha Suleiman. So, do the coaches try and stick with what they have? Do they gamble and go for a late, late winner? His earpiece, which has just become disentangled. Dave Martinez, the Honduran official, who really has let the game flow whenever possible. It's been an absorbing watch. And there's the prospect of half an hour more. Still being hooked up. He's monitoring equipment. Now it has 
been uh, completed. And so Jordan will restart play with this free kick to be taken by Yazid Abulela. Sharif. Olwan. Noor. Straight to Ahmed Fatour. Lashid. Coolly done from Yassin. This is Kamal. Zizo. Soler. Run being made on this near side by Fatour. That's it back from Sharif. Soler. Oh, lovely ball in! Oh, just over! What a chance that was! For Egypt to win it through Zizou. Floated ball from Amro Soler. And Zizou with the run in, he'd come in behind the fullback who hadn't tracked him at all. But he couldn't guide his header downwards. Had he done so, Egypt would have won. Fourth official, Fernando Hernandez Gomez from Mexico will show us in a moment how much additional time we're going to have now. Yazid has gone down. He's saying he needs to be replaced. As we will go into a minimum of five minutes additional time. Yazid Abulela, who's played every minute of this tournament so far, More experienced goalkeeper is Mutas Alfitiani, the 39-year-old who made his international debut back in 2009. Malek Shayabia is the other goalkeeper, but it is a little bit panic stations down on the Jordan technical area. See again then this chance for Zezu. Look at him making the run there at the top of your picture. He's got in right behind the defenders. Heads it up rather than down. Could have catapulted them into the semi finals. from the Egyptian supporters, directed at Yazid Abu Leila. Five minutes then of additional time to be played, and we haven't played a single second of it, so presumably it's five minutes from now. Forward by Hamza. Cleared away by Essan. Chase back here for Mahmoud Hamdi. Senevi. Throw ball forward from Essan. Made amends as Fatou couldn't make progress. Hamdi. Desperate challenges coming in from Jordan. Free kick for Egypt. Well, again, Mahmoud Hamdi is coming forward from the central defensive position for Egypt to add his presence to their attacking options here.
Jordan needs to stay tight, organised, disciplined. Behind this free kick. Zizo. And Mohamed Afsha. Surely they're not going to do the little tap and the strike on goal. They are. Zizo. Always very, very ambitious from that sort of range. Well won by Omar Kamal. Excellent ball in as well, taken by Yazid. Jordan are going to make a change. Raji Ayed, midfielder, is ready to come on. Hamza. Wide by Noor. Yes, Noor. Hamza. Hamza. They might get on the end of this. Just away by Yassim. As Hamza and Yazan there linked up for Jordan. Yazan, who's coming off. Scorer of the first goal tonight. And he will be replaced by Raji Ayed. Which may well mean that Ali Olwan will go back into a central striking role. We are going to have extra time in this quarter-final at the FIFA Arab Cup. The two sides can't be separated in 90 minutes, and we will have half an hour extra to be played. Egypt won, Jordan won, extra time to come. So plenty of work to do from the medical teams on both staffs as they look to get their players ready for another 30 minutes of action. As the public address announcer rather enthusiastically says, penalties may be to come. going anywhere. Well, he's flat out on his back there, the uh, Jordanian goalkeeper, Yazid Abu Layla. 
where he was indicating that he might have to go off as we went into additional time. And you can see there he's receiving rather intensive uh, treatment, the goalkeeper. And this will be a huge concern for uh, Jordan. Delivering the words that he hopes will inspire this Egyptian team through into the last four. the energy who will have the inspiration who unfortunately might make an error at this impressive Al Janoub Stadium capacity of 40,000 one of the stadiums for next year's FIFA World Cup here in Qatar Some words of togetherness, some words of unity from Egypt. The players, the staff, the substitutes, all together in a huddle. Ahmed Rafit is going to come on. The man who hit a spectacular volley in the win over Sudan. And he is replacing Marwan Hamdi. 30 minutes of football ahead then. 30 minutes which may decide who goes through to face Tunisia in next Wednesday's semi-final. Two tiring teams who have given their all over the course of the previous 90 minutes. <laughs> Both goal scorers, Yazan al namainat for Jordan and Marwan Hamdi for Egypt have now been replaced. If you have just joined us for this extra time period, it is Egypt in the red shirts and black shorts. Coming forward here with Omar Kamal. Worked wide by Soler. Rafi. He's too strong there. Ahmed Afshar was the man who just checked his run because he knew he was in an offside position. Carlos Quirish has now mixed it up a little tactically because Rafi has moved across to the Egyptian left, and Mohamed Afshar is now playing up front. Alongside Mohamed Sharif. Sharif with the touch off. Rafi. The touch of the defender. Oh, it was a still isn't under control. What has the referee done? He's given a penalty. Foul by Yazid Abu Layla. In a desperate attempt to get hold of this ball, not once, but twice, three times, he pulls the legs down of Zizo. VAR will be having a look at this. He 
can't believe it. Yazid Abu Leila. But he now has to get back up. And is being checked, and the referee is being asked to come across to this set near side, which adds in a significant element of doubt to his uh, original decision. Will it stand? The penalty is under review for there, for whether it might have been ham ball by Zizo as he made his way through. Not for the foul. Possible handball by attacking player is the wording from the VAR officials. The referee having a good, long look at the monitor. And the more he looks at it, the more it would seem feasible that he might reverse his original decision. So he's had a look at the handball bit. He will have another look there. Does that constitute handball? He's cancelled the penalty. Relief, huge relief for Jordan. And Yazid Abu Leila in particular. A handball by Zizo. As he went through. And does that provide the lift that Jordan will need? Certainly their supporters feel so. They're up on their feet. What a quarter-final this is. So many talking points. Twenty-eight shots in target, 28 shots rather in total in this game. Zizo. Sharif. Played back by Afsha. Afsha wants it again, here he is. Lashif. Afsha. Soler. Is Fatour. Lovely ball through Zizo. Go kick. Dylan Asib getting across in time. Yazid Abu Leila as he contemplated the prospect of having given away a penalty kick, but not so. Ahmed Rafi, Sharif. That's a corner, comes off Nasib. Rafi will take it quickly as well. Fatour. It's another corner, might be a more measured delivery this time. Rajiyad. Curling one. Goalkeeper able to get there. Yazid. Helped on its way by Yassim. Back in by Kamal. Foul was by Yassim. Taken quickly by Soler. By Fatour. Again, has gone for the rebound and gets it. Cross came Hassan to make the challenge. It's 
stamina and endurance are now going to play their part. Hamza, Hamza. Put back by Afshar. Faisalair, Zizo. says the referee. Yassim. Here's Kamal. Sharif. Oh, lovely from Mohamed Sharif. The little pullback. Subtitute comes on to get the vital touch. And having been 1-0 down early on in this match, Egypt now lead by two goals to one. Terrific work here from Mohamed Sharif. Ahmed Rafit with the run across the penalty area to meet it at pace. Low pass, Yazid. And Egypt are in front for the first time in this quarter-final. Well, the goal he scored against Sudan was certainly one of the goals of the tournament. But it came in a 5-0 win. This goal arguably much, much more important. Egypt 2, Jordan 1. Look at the run as he comes in from the right of your picture there, Rafi. And just gets there ahead of Essan Haddad. That's what it means to Carlos Quiroz. And to the thousands of Egyptian supporters in this stadium and the millions watching in Egypt. Remember being in Cairo for the 2006 Africa Cup of Nations, which Egypt won. And the whole of Cairo that night partied, as presumably did the rest of Egypt as well. Egypt hoping to get a place at next year's FIFA World Cup Finals. They're one of ten teams in the playoff situation in the CAF area. Come on. Saleh. Look forward by Fatour. Away by Nasib. Driven from the distance, and it wasn't too far from being another goal. Amro Saleh testing Yazid. Now, was this shot on target? Might just have been veering wide. Yazid could take no chances. Listen to the noise from the Egyptian fans. Zizo with the corner. Goalkeepers again come a long way, headed towards goal, cleared away off the line by Baha. At some considerable cost. But that 
Such an important interception. He's collided with the post. The header coming in from Mahmoud Hamdi, the defender. And back on the goal line, Baha. Just able to get his body in the way. And prevent a third goal for Egypt. 24 shots for Egypt, seven for Jordan. Indeed it was. No. Back by you can see, but Egypt are breaking here. It's two against one. Zizo. Rafi. Just too high for Sharif. With a little ball down. Pulled by Factor. All the way back to Elson Airway. Taken down by Abu Hashish. Noor. Yassine. time period, they really did so in the second half of the 90 minutes. Nassim, Hadi, Noor. Abu Hashish. Noor's ball forward, Abu Hashish, finding himself in a very advanced position. Hamza, wide for Essam. Baha. Taken down here by Yassine, and the shot was blocked. Oh, oh, oh. Best opportunity of the extra time period. Ali Olwan, who had it. Egypt will clear it away as far as Noor. A minimum of one minute additional time. Here comes Jordan again. Baha dispossessed. And Egypt might be able to break here if they can work it forward quickly. Zizo finds Afshar. Sharif. Afshar, Sharif. Cleared away by Essan. Yazid will gather. Well, so many talking points in this first half of extra time. Egypt awarded a penalty, but reversed after the referee had consulted the VAR monitor. Egypt in front, though, at the end of the first half of extra time, thanks to that goal from Ahmed Rafit. 15 minutes to play, Egypt 2, Jordan 1. We're supposed to turn around immediately, but not entirely sure that's actually going to happen. Both teams taking the opportunity to take on some liquid as we see again. The goal that may well put Egypt into the semi-finals. Excellent work from Sharif and Ahmed Rafit. Had made the run across to send those Egyptian fans Delirious with delight. Don't concede will be the message from Carlos Quiros. Keep it tight at the back. 
Don't gamble too much. Take any opportunities that present themselves as Jordan become more and more desperate to get a goal. Marwan Dawood and Mohamed Abdel Monim are ready to come on for Egypt. delay with the uh, electronic uh, board to indicate who is coming off and who is coming on here. That will be Omar Kamal. Referee's doing the fourth official's job but for him. So Omar Kamal will be replaced at the back. Player coming off is Zizo. So straight into the right back roll will go Abdel Monim. And a change for Jordan as well. On for them comes Ibrahim Saed, midfielder. And he is on for his fourth substitute appearance of this tournament. He's replacing Noor. Away we go then, 15 minutes for Jordan to find a goal. Otherwise, Egypt are going through to the semi-finals of the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup. And a semi-final place against Tunisia. As would it be if Jordan were to go through? Just turned on for extra time. Egypt in red. Will they come again trying to find a third goal, which might just take this match beyond Jordan? Start anything from dead ball situation. Jordan will get more and more frantic as the time ticks towards full time. A reminder if Jordan do get it back on level terms, we will go to penalties. along a little bit. Back on the head there for uh, Essan. Starts then with a drop ball. Here's Nassim. Paddy. Trying to find Ham 
Bolvan. 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 Yassin. No way through for him. Couldn't be gathered by Abu Hashish. Yassin. will take his time. Referee will have words with the Egyptian goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper has gone down again. Well, that's both goalkeepers who've required treatment. Ahmed Elsenawi played every minute at this Arab Cup so far. Two young goalkeepers. Mohamed Sobi and Mahmoud Gad, 22 and 23 years of age respectively, are the backup keepers here. for those following Jordan. Well, this would be interesting if... Uh, Alcinelli has to uh, be forced to kick this ball away. Well, the number of substitutions that uh, Egypt have made will make it that they wouldn't be able to replace the goalkeeper. Test Alcinelli, surely. See what he's made of, see how mobile he is. Saeed. Here's Hadi. Essan. Essan again. Olwa. Here's Baha. Ayed. Hadi. Ibrahim Saeed. Jordan losing out. Too long for Yassine on that far side, and he can't keep it in play. Can his side get a goal back? Time is against them. And somebody else is going to have to take this goal kick, presumably, if Nasanewi is struggling. Else is Abdel Monim recently on as a substitute. Sharif is the away by Nasib. Egypt quite happy to get the throw. Just 
Keep it in the Jordan half will be the mantra, really, for Egypt. Here come Jordan, though. Yassine couldn't get there. supporters of both these sides both contributed hugely to a massively enjoyable evening there may be more twists and turns to come but in towards Hamza Again, it'll be Abdelmanim to take the goal kick for Egypt. Wonderful how the Icelandic hand clap has been taken on around the world. It's really due to prominence at the European Championship final some five years ago now. Essa. Soler. Hadi. Oh, the back pass! And it's behind for a corner, and it could have been so much worse. Lack of communication there between Hadi, the defender, and Yazid, the goalkeeper. Wow, wow, wow. It's gifted Egypt a corner. taken promptly. Soler has made his way forward into the penalty area. Is he able to get it away? Infringement in the penalty area. Not there. Anyway, play continues. It's going to be... Attack, attack, attack now from Jordan. Hayek. Yassin. Baha. Forward comes Saad. Yassin. This is Essan. Turn there from Hamza. Chance for the shot from Syed. Drifted in. Hamza the target. Goalkeeper gets there. It's a huge acclaim from the Egyptian supporters. Egypt edging closer to a place in the semi finals. Might well have been a handball there. Referee says play on. Egypt's right. Afsha. Dawood. Abdel Monim. Headed down nicely from Sharif. Here's Sharif again. Four against three in favour of Egypt. What a chance that was. Coming in field, Marwan Dawood. Fatour. Fatour again. from Ahmed Fatour. Might not attract many attentions, the left-back, but he has put in a sterling performance tonight. All the time it's down this end of the pitch. Egypt are edging ever closer. 
Batur curling this one in. Half palmed away by the goalkeeper. It'll be picked up by Yassine Bakit. It's getting to the stage of now or never, really, for Jordan. Syed. Cross new ball is going to skip away from Hassan. Rafi, neatly done, Sharif, no way through, Rafi, he can work it deep. <laughs> Marwan Dawood and Egypt secure their place in the semi-finals at the FIFA Arab Cup. There's no way back now for Jordan. Mawan Dawood on for just his second substitute appearance in this tournament. Look on the right side of your screen here. Dawood in so much room. He's onside and just able to turn it inside the post. And that is that as far as the destination for Egypt next. It is to stay in Doha. Goal scorer for Egypt, number six, Marwan. What a smile. What a smile. A smile that lights up Egypt. Now, in the aftermath of that goal, it was a bit of an altercation between the members of the two respective coaching staffs. Egypt celebrating. And celebrating a touch too hard as far as the Jordan team were concerned. Through. Extra time goals from Ahmed Rafit and Marwin Dawood. And what a semi final in store. Tunisia against Egypt next Wednesday for a place in the FIFA oh, Arab Cup four. final. Jordan Egypt, are out three. after extra time. Four, it's finished four. Egypt 3, Jordan four. 1.
هارد لك كابتن شاهدنا شوط اول ربما لم نشاهده من فتره طويله للمنتخب الاردني ولكن تغيرت الامور كيف تفسر ما حدث؟ انا اعتقد محمد اليوم ما كنا محظوظين انا اول شيء اشكر اللاعبين الابطال ادوا مباراه كبيره جدا كان ممكن نحسم المباراه من الشوط الاول اضعنا فرص كثيره لكن انت تعرف الظروف والاصابات حتى على مستوى التغييرات ما كان عندنا لاعبين يكفون التغييرات لكن اعتقد قدمنا بطوله كبيره اكتسبنا لاعبين شباب على مستوى عالي انا فخور باللاعبين وانا متاكد ان كل الشعب الاردني اليوم فخور بمنتخب فعلا راينا شوط وذهبنا الى اشواط اضافيه على الرغم مما كان هناك من اصابات ولكن ما هي الرساله التي تقدمها للجماهير الاردنيه لهذا المنتخب اكيد واضحه الرساله اصبحت اليوم المتاكد كل اردني فخور بهذا الفريق بهؤلاء الابطال لعبوا مباراه تحت ضغوط وتحت اصابات كثيره وفيروس كورونا والضغط النفسي لكن اليوم قدموا مباراه كبيره كان ممكن نحسم الامور من الشوط الاول بثلاثه اهداف على الاقل لكن هذه كره قدم مبروك لمنتخب مصر وان شاء الله القادم افضل لمنتخبنا يعطيك العافيه كابتن هارد لك هارد لك كابتن شاهدنا يعني بالبدايه هدف جميل ورائع المنتخب الاردني الكثير من الفرص ضاعت على المنتخب الاردني في الشوط الاول ولكن تراجع في الشوط الثاني واشواط اضافيه شاهدنا تراجع بدني ما الذي حدث فعلا للنشامه؟ الحمد لله رب العالمين ومبروك لاخواننا المصريين وهارد لك للشباب النشامه رجال كانوا على قد المسؤوليه لكن شيء طبيعي يعني نتراجع بعد ما تقدمنا الشباب كانوا زلام يعني شوي تراجعنا الشوط الثاني لكن احنا الحمد لله ادينا اللي علينا وكانوا الشباب زلام الان تم توديع هذه البطوله بطولة كأس العرب توديعها كيف تقيم رحلة المنتخب الأردني خلال هذا المشوار؟ يعني كانوا رجال وكانوا من الثمانية الأوائل يعني وقدموا مباراة يعني قدام بطل أفريقيا يعني مباراة كثير أكثر من رائعة وبنهني يعني بنحييهم على داها لكن ما ما حلفنا النصيب الحمد لله إن شاء الله بالبطولات الجاية راح نكون ند لأي فريق بالعرب أو بالعالم إن شاء الله هارد لك كابتن يعطيك العافية شكرا محمد شريف الف مبروك الفوز والوصول للمربع الذهبي ولكن كانت مباراه ماراثونيه المنتخب الاردني كان يعني ندا قويا للمنتخب المصري. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طبعا ماتش صعب جدا بنلعب فرقه كبيره زي فرقه منتخب الاردن يمكن احنا بدانا الماتش متاخر شويه دخل فيه هجوم بدري الحمد لله قدرنا نرجع وفي الاكسترا تايم الحمد لله قدرنا نحسم الماتش الحمد لله يعني. السر في المواصله مواصله الجهد خلال الشوط الثاني والوقت الاضافي يعني هل كانت تعليمات المدرب لابد ان يكون ضغط هجومي طوال هذه الفتره؟ لا والله احنا بنلعب لحد اخر دقيقه الدقيقه 90 زي الدقيقه واحد عندنا الحمد لله ربنا كرمنا النهارده في الاكسترا تايم ما تعرفش الكون هيجي امتى هيجي في الدقيقه 90 هيجي في الدقيقه 91 هيجي في الاكسترا تايم فاحنا بنلعب على امل ان احنا نجيب جول في اي وقت يعني هل كنتوا تتوقعوا اداء منتخب الاردن بهذه القوه في هذه المباراه؟ منتخب الاردن زي لك منتخب قوي اتفرجنا على فيديوهات لي عمل ماتشات كبيره في دور المجموعات كنا مدينه طبعا اهميه وكنا محتملينه جدا فالحمد لله طبعا بحمد ربنا على المكسب وان شاء الله البطوله قريبه باذن الله لينا يعني ان شاء الله. الف مبروك. الف كويس يا الف مبروك الفوز والوصول للمربع الذهبي ولكن كانت مباراه ماراثونيه كما شاهدنا. طمنا في شايف في اصابه في رجلك يعني حبيبي طبعا الحمد لله رب العالمين على المكسب اهم حاجه لعيبه رجاله انت عارف الماتش في بدايه الشوط الاول كان صعب الجون بتاع مروان هو اللي احيانا في الماتش تاني والحمد لله ده طبعا توفيق من عند ربنا واهم حاجه ماتش صعب الحمد لله اصابه بسيطه بس الحمد لله ما فيش حاجه ماتش جابه موجود ان شاء الله وهنلعب على ان شاء الله على البطوله ان شاء الله هل كان في شك في ان انت تلعب في المباراه ولا لا لان كان كثير من الاخبار بتقول قفشه جاهز قفشه مش جاهز هو كان يعني كانت إصابة شوية شد في الأمامية لكن الحمد لله في خلال الخمس أيام اللي فاتوا اتمرنت كويس كنت بتمرن ثلاث تمرينات في اليوم كنت بتعب عشان عايز ألعب دي بطولة مهمة ولازم أبقى موجود مع الفريق على يعني حتى لو هساعد بواحد في المية دوري أكيد مطلوب فأنا كنت بسعى إن أنا أبقى موجود يعني وده اللي عملته والحمد لله قدرت إن أنا ألعب النهاردة الجاهزية البدنية فرقت النهاردة في منتخب مصر إن هو ما شاء الله مكمل في الشوط الثاني بنفس القوة البدنية في الشوط الإضافي بيهاجم يعني هل كان تركيز 
على الجانب البدني للاعبين قبل هذه المباراه الهامه بص هي اللعيبه كلها مركزه حته البدن دي جايه من الروح عندنا روح وعندنا شخصيه وده اللي فارق معانا خلي بالك سيبك بقى من الكوره والمهاره وكل ده الشخصيه والروح لما تبقى موجوده كل حاجه بتبقى موجوده فده اهم فده الحمد لله هو ده اللي خدنا المكسب النهارده تعبنا ربنا كرمنا جبنا جون في في الدقيقه الاخيره في الشوط الرابع وده اهم حاجه يعني الحمد لله الف مبروك يا حبيبي الله يبارك فيك شكرا What a quarter final that was. Three goals to one, Egypt winning it, but that doesn't tell half the story. 39 shots in total, 12 of them on target. Just one yellow card apiece in a game which really flowed. 120 minutes of scintillating football, which ended with Egypt going through. Egypt up against Jordan then for a place in the semi-finals of the FIFA Arab Cup and it was Jordan who struck first. A goal after 12 minutes and a really excellently taken goal as well from Yazan Al-Namainat. Egypt pressed hard, looking for an equaliser and they got it in additional time at the end of the first half. Marwen Hamdi making it 1-1. In the second half, Egypt had the better of play, but neither side could find a goal. This was the best chance. It went through the legs, though, of Faisal. Jordan hoping to capitalise on the break, as they were under a lot of pressure. Great chance here, just wide from Yazan had earlier scored the goal. So one apiece at the end of 90 minutes, it meant we went into extra time with the possibility of penalties as well on the horizon. And we might have had a penalty early on in the first half of extra time. Zezu going down under the challenge from Yazid, but VAR Asked the referee to have a look there for handball by Zizo, and after looking at the monitor, the penalty decision was overruled. On as a substitute, Ahmed Rafit, with a lovely run here to get on the end of the cross from Mohamed Sharif. Egypt 2 1 up. As we approached half time in extra time. That was looking like it could be the winning goal. Jordan trying to find a way back, but they were constantly pegged back. Soler with that effort from distance for Egypt. And they almost got a third goal here, cleared away off the line by Baha Suleiman. So into the second half of extra time. Egypt looking for a third goal to take it away from Jordan. And they got it very late on. Rafit with the ball across. And there to apply the finishing header, Marwan Dawood. So it's an all North African semi final at Stadium 974 next Wednesday. Egypt will face their local rivals Tunisia for a place in the final, having won this one 3-1 after extra time. Wow, what a quarter-final that was, and the quarter-final lineup will be completed later tonight. Tunisia against Egypt will be the first quarter-final. Qatar, the host, already through after their emphatic victory of the United Arab Emirates last night. Morocco and Algeria will meet in about an hour or so's time to determine who will go through to the semi-finals from that match. It's been an exhilarating quarter-final. Swung one way, then the other. Plenty of incidents, plenty of talking points. But we bid farewell to Jordan, the Group C runners-up, and Egypt go marching on into the semi-finals. Tunisia awaiting them there next Wednesday.